So right here we have my colony of Neostylopyga rhombifolia, or also known as the Harlequin roach. And today I'm just going to be doing a video on them and how they've been doing for the past few months. So yeah, let's just get into it. So this is what my colony currently looks like. It looks a lot different from the last time I showed them. To begin with, I have had so many ooths hatch out. Over the past few months, they've been laying these uthicas nonstop, and these small nymphs have been hatching out of them almost every day, basically, and I have hundreds of nymphs now. I just have so many nymphs and running around in this enclosure. And I wanted to switch to a more naturalistic look. So over the past few months, I've started taking out their uh, cardboard-based hides and switched it to this cool driftwood piece with an additional one on top. And I also included some of these new cork work pieces. And as you can tell, there are tons of nymphs everywhere. I have also added a band of petroleum jelly just to stop escapees. And I also have covered the holes with uh, a mesh just to stop any more escapees from possibly happening. Right here we can see an adult hanging out. And I have had a few of the adults pass away, but they have definitely done their job and this colony is just doing really well for me. Out of all my roaches, these have been one of the quickest ones to ever establish, and they have been very prolific and very easy to care for. They seem to really like a dry substrate, just a thin layer of substrate. Nice ventilation, really well ventilated. I have uh, a long strip of lots of drilled holes on both sides of their enclosure, and then they just like high air humidity. So what I do to achieve that, I just spray down the sides of their enclosures and give them a slight mist over all of their hides uh, every few weeks or so, and that seems to help keep the humidity pretty high. Normally the nymphs start off as these tiny black nymphs, and then as they start to grow, they get more orange in them, and then eventually they'll get old enough where they start getting their adult patterns or these harlequin patterns, I should say. And let me just flip some of these pieces, because I mean, there's just so many nymphs in this enclosure, it's unreal. So there's just a lot of reproduction going on. All of those little egg cases are the uthicas that they lay and glue onto the bark under here, and here are what some of the adults look like with their patterns. They're basically almost completely black with their harlequin patterns tuning in there a bit. So now if I just lift up this piece, you can see just truly goes to show how many nymphs are in this enclosure. And I still have many adults alive, still producing Uthaca. And this is, as you can see, this is what they do. They hold out their ooth and then they will later glue it down to the bark like this. But anyways, while I'm recording this video, I'm just going to drop in a uh, few pieces of food for them around their enclosure too. And I like to leave their food in a few different places because some of the nymphs will fight each other out of eating it. And you want to make sure all nymphs are able to get some food so that they all make it to adulthood. By placing these fish flakes, they all start running up crazily to get some of this and these roaches are very fruit and protein hungry and you can even see these little nymphs come over just to get the tiniest pieces so i like to leave food around a few different parts of the enclosure just so that i make sure all the nymphs are able to get something But it just amazes me how they just kind of pile up all over each other and just go to town on these fish flakes. As I said that they're really protein and even apple hungry. 
As you can tell over here, there's a whole swarm of them going crazy for this apple. I also give them other things like carrots and dog food and roach chow from time to time. Just whatever I'm feeling like feeding them. I would also like to show you really quickly how cool their Uthaka are and just give you a little bit more information on how they reproduce and stuff. So it seems when you keep them in higher temperatures like I am around 80 or so degrees Fahrenheit that you will see them mature pretty quickly if you get around medium sized nymphs. I saw them laying Uths almost immediately after they started maturing and some of them will drop these around the enclosure. They will glue them to substrate pieces of bark under cork bark to the driftwood. They'll basically glue it or drop it anywhere in the enclosure. So here's just uh, an isolated adult. And I'm not sure whether if it's male or female, but this is just to show you an up close video of what they look like. Now they do have this pair of vestigial wings and these vestigial wings do not do anything, hence their name. And I mean, these roaches are just so cool up close. I mean, look at them. So yeah, overall, I'm really glad with how this colony is doing. But with that, that's all I have for today's video, everyone. But before the video ends, please go down below and click the like and subscribe button if you have not yet. It helps me in many different ways, and it gives me a reason to keep publishing these amazing videos of roaches. But yeah, with that, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.